Okay, well, now the machine is in the far corner where I left it in the last video on this channel, and I have moved the laser now to the middle of the wall where my former dust collector used to be. Um, everything behind the camera I'm about to show you. Uh, I'm starting to build the Avid 5x5 Pro. This process is interesting and humbling all at the same time, but there was a crazy thing that happened at the end of this process. Uh, I'm not finished with it at all. See? Look. That's what I've got done so far. But the crazy part was, just watch. Let me explain what I mean by like, this is a new era for us, or for me, really. Um, these are two foot by three foot, these blanks. I call these sheets in my world. When I tell my friends or family, it takes four sheets to make X amount of products. This is what I'm talking about. The reason it's so important that and so I'm so thankful that this new CNC is here, is because it is a five by five, which gives me plenty of room around the outskirts of a four by four foot piece of wood. Now, a four by four is roughly two and almost a half times bigger than this, um, which allows me to take a piece of plywood, cut it right in half, right? And then store some of the sheets actually underneath the machine. So we don't need this massive storage thing over here. But the real mean, the real, the real reason is, um, is that the cutting times may be about the same in terms of what we're running feeds and speeds, but the amount of time I, it takes me to take a piece off, take the pieces out, that is gonna be cut more than in half, right? Because I'm able, the, the capacity of this is gonna be so much great. And it's great for a business like mine that is basically making smaller scale items. Now, if I was a cabinet maker, well, that'd be a different story. This wouldn't be as, probably as big as I needed. But because I am an accessory maker, then we should be great. And I know it's gonna be awesome. So I wanna thank Avid again for supplying me with this machine. I'll, I'll detail more about it later. You're gonna see in this video me kind of building the initial stage up to this point. Um, just some odds and ends and some thoughts I have about it. And um, something I, a big mistake I made at the end of this video. Well, like I said in the intro, you'll see in just a second, check it out. If you've been following along, you're gonna notice some pretty big changes here. This is the front of the shop with the big mural. Well, the laser is not there anymore, nor is the old CNC. Those are down in the back, kind of in the middle, in the back corner. And I've brought every flat surface on wheels up to the front with me, along with all this aluminum extrusion been unboxed. These are really gonna help me put this whole thing together. So what I'm doing here is first thing first, you're gonna attach some of the feet. Now, I will say this, there is a massive amount of instructions with this, but they're actually pretty easy to read and they're pretty easy to follow. So everything's labeled and it looks like Avid has done a pretty good job with meticulously putting this whole kit together. So far, so great. So what you're seeing me do here in this video is putting together the entire base assembly is what they call it. Now, to my surprise, or maybe not, this aluminum extrusion, this 8020 aluminum with the T-slots is actually way more robust and heavier than I thought. Um, this stuff really is no joke. And when you get this thing in, the boxes are incredibly heavy and they do recommend two people putting this together, but I'm just me. And you can see I've got one of my, I guess, screw clamps down there holding one of the legs up so I can do this you know, with only a one man crew. And I've got a spacer block, of course, cut the specifications on where this is supposed to be. And there are some really cool instructions in here that do tell you exactly to cut pieces of wood so you can have things spaced out just perfectly. And that's a pretty prime example. Now it's time to assemble all of the rails that are gonna run across the entire length of the machine here. And again, this is a five by five cutting surface, but the total length of the machine is close to seven feet. After all, you do need the gantry and the spindle to when it's out of the way, it does need to kind of clear everything down one side of the machine or essentially the back of the machine. Now, here's another example of the pieces of wood they ask you to cut. Of course, they tell you to do dimensional lumber, but I literally don't have any. I just have plywood around, but that's gonna work just fine. Cut these down to 14 and 3 16 of an inch, clamp everything in place, and then you can drive home the metric fasteners that everything comes with. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this stuff is, this stuff is strong, no joke. So here we are, this is the entire base fully assembled and ready to go to install the rails and everything else, but. Okay, um, so I just installed all these gussets in here and I just realized that I was supposed to lightly hand tighten everything and I was just going after it. <laughs> the reason that's a little alarming is that I have to check square 
and I haven't done that yet. I mean, it looks, if it looks straight, it's straight. It looks square. I haven't checked it. I'm gonna check it now on camera and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, I need a tape. Okay, here's the deal. I don't really know how I'm the best way to, to do this live. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of each end and then bring it up here to the camera to show you uh, what the number is. And let's see if this thing is square. I mean, it feels like it should be. All right, all the way to the end. And we'll take a shot here. And that is... Okay, 98 and a half. Oh, pfft. I'm gonna show you the bit. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It's 98 and a half, exactly. Moving on to the next side. Hook it on there. Okay. Camera. <laughs> Freaking A. Are you serious? All right, here's this side. It was taken like this. Are you kidding me? It's, it's, it's like a 64th of an inch. And as far as I'm concerned, that's square. That's amazing. Oh my God. Oh, that worked out really well. Um, I'm gonna leave this video here because uh, this was actually not the most technical part of the build. It was, I think, gonna be the most difficult in terms of getting your body into different positions because you gotta get down low and when you get, you know, we get a little bit older, uh, going to the ground and getting back up, shouldn't be a big deal. I'm working on that, okay? <laughs> but yeah, this uh, this thing is rock solid, man. Oh my gosh, I can't even lift it. <clears throat> yeah, really cool. I'm I'm actually, uh, I hate to say I'm surprised, but I am surprised. One, it was perfectly square. Two, um, just how rigid this thing feels. You know, I just I can't, I can't, I can't get over that. I mean, I, I guess they're in business for a reason. Uh, again, I want to thank Avid for sending this over and believing in me. And just stay tuned. Um, we're going to keep going. See you.